I'm going to just tell you about my conversation with Jesus. How about that? And then I'll, I'll save the rest for another time. I have to. I'm probably going to teach about it at the retreat. My conversation with Jesus. At some point in this experience, again, all of which took place in the interior, we tend to, as spiritual people and people who are interested in psychic abilities, which a lot of people who follow me are interested in that, we tend to think those things happen outside of us. And we look to the external validation. We look for angels. We look for signs. We look at, we're looking outside of us. And this is, I think, what Christ cautioned when he said, don't chase that kind of thing because the kingdom of heaven is truly within you. And in this experience, and I've taught that and I believe that, and I thought I was also occupying that, right? Believing and being our one. I thought I was walking around the planet being that, but it wasn't until this particular experience that I truly experienced that, that everything that was being experienced was happening within me. And, and there was a reason for that. Now, my conversation with Jesus happened after the conversations that I happened with, uh, I had with other folks personal to me and who had a direct correlation to things happening in my life and things that have happened before. And then at some point, my energy called out to signal to Christ. Now, as some, as some of you know, I grew up as an evangelical fundamentalist Christian. I was a missionary to Fiji, to Tonga, to Samoa. I was a worship leader. I was a Bible study. I mean, I was talk about enmeshment in organized fundamentalist religion. I know more scriptures than you can shake a stick at, you know, and, um, I still speak in the language of that sometimes, but it's really, it's not because of indoctrination. It's just because that's just my paradigm. It's what I come out of. But what happened in this experience was I, I reached out to the energy of Jesus because the more esoteric I get, the more I truly want to know authentically, like who God is, who I am, and also who Christ is. And I had a conversation with Christ and he appeared to me in such a cool way. He appeared to me as the silhouette of a man and the backdrop the, behind him was a starry, starry night, like a dark night with lots and lots of stars and then just the silhouette of Jesus. And I talked to Jesus and I, I told Jesus how I felt and, and how much of a comfort Christ was for me as a child coming out of an abusive household, like it was the only thing that I had was religion. and. At the end of that conversation, Christ said, I'm just a man. I was just a man. And everything that you saw in me was what you desired to see in yourself. And everything that you attributed to me in terms of divinity, miraculous nature, expanded consciousness, was that which you sought to activate in yourself. But I, Christ, am just a man. I was just a man. Yes, son of God, but insofar as we all are children of God. Yes, godly man. This Christ energy showed me how we have attributed so much to this one person, all in an attempt to externalize our inner search for self and understanding of self. And in that moment, I felt a lot of things, but one of the things was I felt apologetic. Like I, I did not know. But I, in that moment of knowing, like, I'm sorry, I put all of that upon you. And in the midst of that conversation, it felt like I was having a conversation with any of you. But I realized ultimately in the confines of that conversation that I was actually talking to the Christ in me, that I had built for myself within me, the idea of Christ, the thought form, if you will, the Christ that I had held within me. Even to this day, I still teach on Jesus, don't I? I still talk about Jesus. I talk about what he said. I'm not going to stop doing that either, but this is the Christ in me from my childhood, but also the Christ that lives in, was living inside of me up until that time. I was conversing with that aspect of myself that needed to find my own divinity. And at the end of that conversation, not to go on too long, I had to tell Christ to go. I had to say, you, you got to leave me now. Because the Christ I'm holding inside of me is my desire to know myself and to connect more deeply with spirit. And I want to go there. That's the space I want to live in. I don't want to depend on another person being deity to be emblematic of that. I want to be that. I am that. And I asked him to leave. 
Now, did I ask him to leave my experience here? No, I asked my idea of him that I had been harboring to leave. And what this did was two things. Physically, I felt the energy open within me. It was an incredible adjustment to my body and my energy. I felt it. The second thing it did was it created a space into which I could emerge and have a real relationship with this energy we would call Christ consciousness or Christ energy or God energy, but on a totally different playing field where it's not about me and what I need to heal in myself and what I need to see in myself, but rather the energy itself, pure, which is available to us all. And of course, I've been working in this energy, but I've been working with it through the filter of myself. And this entire experience was about looking at myself and what I'm carrying around, the stuff my dad put into me. You know, my whole life has been about exercising these things. And yet here he was, those broken pieces still inside of me, my mother too, and other people as well. All these conversations I had were with conversations with me. So that was just a little bit of what happened two weeks ago. And it's really changed my perspective. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this, this juice fast because I want to peel away the need for things that take my attention away from just being in the spirit or being in the intention. I intend to spend these at least three days extremely intentional and open, open to what it is that's trying to emerge through me, to be created through me, because I have to be excited about my life and I have to be excited about being a creator. Don't, don't you see? I have to be excited about what I'm creating. But if I'm not in touch with it, if I can't see it, if I'm not spending the time because I'm making meals, I'm, I'm making projects, I'm doing all these things that I'm doing, then I can't spend enough time in the energy that truly heals me and truly shows me the way. So that's my intention 